because I know I was guilty of this. Somebody gives us. Well, the reason I, I'm saying it just uh, before we get into a big thing is because the way John teaches us is I want a payment on that page and I want it come back signed. Well, which, 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 is, we'll, we'll which is fine. Which, which is fine. Yeah. I just want to close on this payment. Yeah. Okay. I'm look. I'm either going to close on this payment or do exactly what John wants okay. done. I Make no you. mistake about that. I got you. I got okay. You. That goes to the great qualified for extended terms. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but 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 I'm not gonna let, I'm not gonna. Let, okay, I know John. Here John. here here's the point I want to make. Whether it be I want more for my trade, or gee, you can give me a bigger discount, or I want a lower payment. Objections. These aren't objections. These are complaints. This is a customer whining. Okay, I need a lower payment. Fuck. Let's go. Just look at him and say, look, that payment 45 to 505, it's just basic mathematics. You bought a beautiful truck, we're giving you a pile of money for your trading, that's what the payment is. Now, okay that right there so I can get your trade ready to go. A percentage of your customers are going to close if you do that. It's power. It, you're just closing. what they come here to do? Buy a car. Buy a truck, okay? What have, what have they done? What has the industry taught them to do? The industry has taught them to whine. Uh, I need a lower payment. And unfortunately, we've been taught to say, well, where did you want your payment to be? Okay? No, close them first. So now, I'm going to get a commitment from the guy. Don't get me wrong. But I want to close on the first pencil. Is this a good deal for the customer? Absolutely. Yeah, it is. It's a good deal on the customer. The customer's doing what they're supposed to do. They're bitching about this, that, or the other. Let them bitch. But don't treat it like an objection. Treat it like a complaint and reclose. Tell me the discount's not big enough. Discount's not big enough, sir. The discounts are never going to be big enough, okay? This is a pretty huge one relative to the state of uh, our economy right now with this law of supply and demand and all that. So I need your okay by one of these payments right here so I can get you the truck ready for delivery. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the truck, not enough for your trade. Um, I, I, I did a KBB and it, that's not quite what I wanted for my trade. Everybody says the same thing, okay? This is what your trade is worth. We don't decide what the trade's worth. The market decides what the trade is worth, and your trade is worth just this, okay? Now, okay this down here so I can get your new truck ready for delivery. I want you to learn to do, I want you to learn to quickly reclose. I mean, Tyler, does this make sense? Yeah. I mean, we're not, unless unless you guys for some reason are sending pencils out there just for the, and, and you don't expect to, you don't expect to close the customer. I can't imagine that's the case though. No, I mean, that, that just makes, makes us have to work harder for our deals, which is good. It makes us, <clears throat> training wise, overcome all different types of objections anytime you get Well, look, look, we're, look, we're going to get objections. Yeah, just don't treat the first things out of the customer's mouth as an objection. Treat it as a complaint. If the customer says, hey, read my lips, I ain't doing this unless I get, get it to 450. Okay, now we got an objection. Okay? And we'll deal with the objections. But initially treat every pushback from the customer as a complaint. Matt, Matt whenever you get to know on the first objection, what do you need to do? I ask why. No, no, why would you ask why? Now you make the customer, why would you say why do you think it's too high? Someone talked to you to say that, didn't they? I don't know. I don't think so. I think that was me thing. No, no, I, I, I was agree and confirm. No, I said, look, every, I, look everybody. everybody wants a lower payment. I get it. It's mathematics. You bought a beautiful truck. That's the payment right there. Okay, this so we can get your new truck ready for delivery. You'll be stunned at the number of people that'll close. Won't be all of them, but a percentage will close. They're just tr they're just trying you on. They're just grinding you. Is this a new vehicle? They're pushing back. No. Going back. Oh, okay. No, it's, it's a used vehicle. It's a used vehicle, but it's a new vehicle to them. That's why I keep saying your new vehicle. I'm sure I've already gone over that. I mean, I, look, customers understand supply and demand, but they're still going to ask for a bigger discount, more for the trade, and a lower payment. True or false? Always. We've taught them. We've taught them it's profitable, profitable to do that. Because 90% of the salespeople, 97% of the salespeople don't know what to say. Okay? Now.